Hey guys, welcome back and greetings. So just looking ahead to season 15 in Diablo 3. Uh, this is going to be starting on Friday, September the 21st, so not too far ahead now. Um, the sets that are going to be available from Hadric's Gift are going to be uh, for the Barbarian, you've got Wrath of the Wastes, Crusader Roland's Legacy, Demon Hunter, Unhallowed Essence. So. I have a feeling I might start off the season with the Demon Hunter using the Unhallowed Essence and the Multi-Shot build, purely because it's it's so fast and powerful at getting through rifts. It's going to get up to GR70 really quick, but it's also one of the best ones for um, levelling gems, so once you've actually levelled up a bit, you can go flying through um, rifts, levelling up gems to use on, on anything really. Back to hell, dog. So I'll probably start the season with that, and then I'm going to use the Barbarian, which you can see I was just mucking around with uh, at the end of season 14. I haven't really played for a few weeks now, but I quite like this um, this build with the Immortal Kings using the hammer because it's a really powerful build, but it's also very tanky. And the gear I've got on this build at the moment is just like bare minimum. I've got 800 um, Paragon. I've just limited it to 800 Paragon for this run, just to Need see what it was time. like. And you can get through a GR70 in 6 slow. minutes. It's, particularly, it's quite a slow build, because it's just going around smashing things to a pulp. <laughs> it's, it's not exactly the fastest build, but I think once you've got it levelled up and um, you've got your tactics weighed off, you could just turn this into an Elite Hunter, because I've already seen damage in this, this rift alone. Uh, I think up to like 370... Billion. And this, honestly, this just. The build I've got, the gear you'll see at the end, it's just so minimal. You could really, really get this into a mega powerful Not ready um, yet. elite killing build. So, for the monk, you've got Raymond of the Thousand Storms, which again is a, is a really, really good um, set because you can. You can get through GR17 in about three minutes with that. <laughs> it's probably one of the fastest GR70s I've ever done with um, with anything. I think the Monk and the, the Demon Hunter. So that's a really good one for the Monk. Uh, Necromancer, you've got Bones of the Wrath there. Uh, Witch Doctor, you've got Helltooth, which is another very, very good set to start with because all you need is a ring and pretty much any old any old weapon and um, you can get those gargantuans out there smashing things to a pulp so again you can get to GR70 very time. quick with that one and you don't really have to do much because all you do is sit back behind the, the gargantuans as they get ripping things to pieces uh, the wizard Tal Rush um, probably the best build I think with Tal Rush at the moment is one of the channeling builds who channel meteors and they do exceptionally high damage only really beaten by the very high level twisters but you can get channeling meteors for a trillion quite easy so that's another powerful build but i've gone off tail rusher because it's just it's too much hard work it really is having to get the elements all working up so there's builds around at the moment just lay waste to it and they're much much easier particularly the monk so as you can see this is um i think this is going to be my season i'm going to try and push this set to GR100, Still which is all I do now in seasons. Take take a build and try and push it to a GR100. I did it with the, the Twisters you know, Wizard this year, which was pretty easy. But I don't, I don't particularly like the DMO anyway, so I just did it just to get to GR100. And then I started mucking about with other things. But as I've never actually played Barbarian Need more in a time. season. Um, I think season 15, this this is the one I'm going to do. It's not the most powerful Barbarian build, but it's um, it's pretty good fun, pretty tanky, so I'll go with that. Wrath of the Waste is fairly good to start with, even though it's not a particularly brilliant build. You can create a very, very fast um, bounty build with Wrath of the Waste, just speeding away with that. Um, the ancient smile on Twisters in, in tow. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. So we'll definitely start off with the Demon Hunter, build that up, and then I'll switch the to the Barbarian and push the Barbarian to GR 100. So we'll just skip a little bit further now towards the end of this. Go and kill Still the old Wrath Guardian. Never. You have triumphed. 
you can see there it's like 8 minutes 48 left and when you, when you see this gear I've got on it just goes to show how tanky like stupidly flipping high damage this build is I'm only using a Bane of the Powerful that's what, level 30 there and two of the other gems were level 80 so I'm overburdened. There wasn't any particularly high level gems on this. And as I said, I limited it to 800 Paragon. You can see there the uh, the 200 weapon minimal. Brace is the first man, that's not too bad. But all the gear I've got on here, it's all just normal gear. In fact, some of it I only just quickly re rolled. Unity and the Compass Rose and the. Um, Travel of Pledge, I wouldn't use them anyway. I mean, it adds to a little bit of the tankiness, but certainly not the damage. So, Hammer of the Ancients. I've been using Lee purely for the um, additional armor, so you can muck about with different things there. You've got War Cry and Battle Rage. You can muck again, just muck around with them, see which, see which ones work at higher levels. Some of the passives again, just mucking around with them, just seeing what was going wor working well with that build. And I got Furnace, Frostburn, and Bandamite in there. Frostburn pretty good actually because it frees things on the spot. As you can see, you could, I could have added another uh, a whole load more strength there, but I uh, just limited it just to see what it was like. And you can see there, I've only got 8,800 strength, so you could probably get up to 14, 15,000 really quick and quick, quite easy. Um, so I reckon doing GR100 shouldn't be too hard, but we'll see. Anyway, so that's going to be my Season 15, and I uh, hope you guys have a good time, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Yeah, bye. I'm returning to town.